Australian anti-monarchists have launched a campaign to mock Britain's King Charles and his wife Camilla's visit to Australia this week. Australia is a constitutional monarchy with the British monarch as its head of state, although the role is mostly ceremonial. Even so, anti-monarchists like Nathan Hansford, co-chair of the Australian Republic Movement, are promoting a tongue-in-cheek campaign to cut ties. We're calling it uh, a farewell to monarchy tour. It's a bit like a rock and roll farewell tour. We're absolutely welcoming Charles and Camilla here this time around. We'd love to wave goodbye to royal reign uh, next time they come. We'd love to welcome them as visitors, absolutely welcomed by an Australian head of state. Australians voted against becoming purely a republic in a referendum in 1999, but there have been repeated calls for another ballot. The 1975 sacking of Prime Minister Gough Whitlam by Governor-General Sir John Kerr, who represented the monarchy, remains one of the country's most polarising political events, representing an unmatched level of intervention by the Commonwealth. The Republic movement hopes to reignite discussion about a vote during the royal visit from October 18th to 26th and urge Australians to consider the role a ruling British king plays in 2024 and beyond. But polling shows Australians remain ambivalent about becoming a republic. News Corp newspapers this week published a poll showing 45% support Australia remaining a constitutional monarchy. That's compared to 33% who support Australia becoming a republic. And the rest is undecided. Alexander Voltz from the Australian Monarchist League prefers things to remain as they are. I'm simply waiting for the Republicans to produce an idea that really is something more than uh, vague platitudes and appeals to emotional arguments. Um, it's something that could actually be better than what we already have. Despite having been on the record saying he wants an Australian as Australia's head of state, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has not actively campaigned for the British monarch to be replaced. Media reports this week say King Charles, via his assistant private secretary, had responded to the Australian Republic movement in a letter, saying the matter is up to the Australian public to decide.